The UK, Italy and Japan on Friday launched a joint venture to develop a supersonic 6th generation fighter jet by 2035, replacing the Eurofighter Typhoon. Britain's BAE Systems, Italy's Leonardo and Japan's Aircraft Industrial Enhancement will each hold a 33.3% share in the new venture, making a pivotal moment for the international aerospace and defense industry. The three partners have agreed to form a new company under the Global Combat Air Program, a multinational initiative established by the UK, Japan and Italy in 2022 to develop a sixth generation stealth fighter to replace the Typhoon and Japanese F-2. The new company will be headquartered in the UK and its first CEO, whose name has not been announced, will be Italian. GCAP aims to counter the threats posed by Russia and China and will merge two different aircraft programs, the UK and Italy's Tempest and Japan's FX. The three countries said in November they were discussing opening up the project to other countries. Italy's foreign minister said the program would likely be extended to Saudi Arabia. Although some analysts have said full Saudi participation could make it harder for the nations to reach a consensus over export policy. The objective is to develop a twin-engine stealth aircraft that could be operated with or without a crew, would boost features such as laser-directed weapons and a virtual cockpit and would be much harder to detect using radar and infrared. New technologies being explored for Tempest include the integration of AI and augmented reality and the ability to conduct missions alongside drones. The Italian Defense Ministry has already allocated 8.8 .8 billion euros, although the total budget of the project has yet to be revealed. Meanwhile, France, Germany and Spain are working on their own next-generation fighter projects, prompting some in the industry to question whether Europe could sustain two decades-long programs. The project envisions stealth fighter operating in tandem with drones, with the first aircraft expected to enter service in 2035, a timeline which some defense experts have said is ambitious. Japan, in particular with increasingly assertive China on its doorstep is keen for the project to stay on schedule.